Saint Wenceslas, Duke of Bohemia, Martyr, 938, Boleslavium. Saint Wenceslas, Duke of Boernia, was the son of a Christian father, Duke Artislaus and a heathen mother named Bramira. He had for his grandmother a most holy woman, named Ludmilla, who trained him up in godliness. He was a man eminent in all graces, and one who carefully held his virginity unsullied throughout the whole course of his life. His mother seized the supreme power by the foul murder of Ludmilla, and lived fully with her younger, son Bolslaus and the nobles roused thereby to indignation, and wearied with her tyranny and wicked government, cast off the yoke of both of them, and hailed Wenceslaus in the city of Prague as their king. He ruled his kingdom by his virtues rather than by force. To the orphaned, the widowed, and the destitute he was very charitable, so that some whiles in the winter he carried firewood to the needy on his own shoulders. He helped oftentimes to bury the poor, he set captives free, and went many times to the prisons at the dead of night to comfort with money and advise them that were detained therein. To a prince of so tender an heart it was a great grief to be poven to condemn any to death, however guilty. For priests he had a most earnest respect, and with his own hands sowed the corn and pressed the grapes for the bread and wine which they were to use for the sacrifice. He would walk round the church by night with bare feet upon the snow and ice, leaving behind him bloody footprints that warmed the ground. For his body guard he had angels. For when Radislaus, prince of Grena, invaded Bohemia, and Wenceslaus, to save the effusion of his people's blood, went out to meet him in single combat, two angels, were seen serving him with arms, and heard to say to the adversary, Strike not. Therefore, his enemy was stricken, with terror, fell down in reverence before him, and begged his forgiveness. When he went to Germany, the emperor saw two angels carrying a golden cross, before him as he drew nigh him and arose from his throne, embraced him in his arms, created him a king, and gifted him with the arm of the holy martyr Vitus. Nevertheless, his godless brother, at the exhortation of their mother, bade him to a feast, given, on account of the birth of his son, and when Wenceslaus, with a foreboding of the death prepared for him, went afterwards into the church, and was praying there, Bolslaus followed him thither, together with some accomplices of his crime and when they had wounded him, dispatched him with his own hand, running him through the body with a lance. He suffered a little after midnight, upon the twenty-eighth day of September, in the year of our Lord 938. The stains of his blood may still be seen upon the walls. By the judgment of God, his unnatural mother was swallowed up by the earth, and his murderers, in diverse ways, perished miserably. O Ramus! O God! who didst make thy blessed servant Wenceslaus to pass by the palm of martyrdom from dominion on earth to glory in heaven, keep us, at his prayers, from all hurt here, and grant unto us the joy of fellowship with him he rafter. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.